Hi, Tom Stevenson here. Since many people are stuck at home, I had an idea to do a virtual bird walk. It's a rough idea, so hopefully it will be fun and interesting. It's definitely an experiment on my side, and some places a bit rough. Since I'm in Brooklyn, I've spent a few mornings in Prospect Park recording the birds there. The goal is to explore the sonic landscape and see what we can find. I'll be using spectrograms to help point out the bird songs that we encounter. As I would on any normal walk, I talk some about what we're hearing and mention some of the key ID points that help identify the singers. It's a bit labor intensive to put these together, so let us know if you find them interesting or helpful and we can try some more. Before we begin, I want to define a few terms I'll be using, most of which we presented in the Warbler Guide in an attempt to make an objective language for studying and describing vocalizations. First, songs are vocalizations that birds use to attract mates and set up and defend their territories. Calls are the very short vocalizations that birds use, we believe, to stay in contact with their peers, avoid running into each other during night flight, and for other possible communications like alerting the area about a nearby predator. Elements are single sounds. They can be very short, but with a wide frequency range would sound like chips, or they can be long and pure with a smooth slurred pitch change. They can also have different timbral qualities such as nasal or harsh, both caused by dense harmonics. An element, phrase, or even whole song is compressed if it has a narrow pitch range. It's expanded if the range is wide. Phrases are groups of elements that are repeated for two or more times. There can be two element phrases, three element phrases, and so on. It's just a way of defining sort of a secondary grouping of elements. Songs are often easier to hear and separate from similar species when we understand their structure. So for this, I use the term sections. A section is an obvious and abrupt change of pitch, timbre, phrase type, or speed. There can be one section songs, so everything's the same, two section songs, or even songs with lots of sections. For example, like a Song Sparrow song. Anyway, I hope you find these virtual bird walks interesting, useful, and above all, enjoyable, and I hope to see you in the field again soon.